Davening with the Haftorah of Parshat Vayishlach, dedicated to the memory of Lucy, Maya, and Rina D, for the merit of the success of all our soldiers fighting in the field, for the return of all the hostages, just like we've seen until now, and finally, for our Refua Shalema, full recovery for all those wounded. The Haftorah of Parshat Vayishlach is the first recorded prophecy that Ovadia got as a prophet. And the Gemara says in Masechet Sanhedrin something interesting. What's the difference, says the Gemara, between Ovadja and Esav? And the Gemara answers, Ovadja functioned under the influence of two wicked, terrible people. And yet, he came out to be a tzaddik. Unlike Esav, who lived in a house with two tzaddikim, thank God, his parents, Yitzhak and Rivka, and came out to be a Russia, came out to be a wicked person. And I believe that the Gemara is trying to tell us something that goes to the very core of maturity. Maturity means taking responsibility over yourself. The opposite of maturity is to go ahead and to blame everyone else for your shortcomings. It was my parents, it was the house I grew up in, it was the neighborhood I functioned in, it was the terrible teachers I had, and the list goes on and on. Comes along this Haftorah and says, you can have the worst influence in the world, but if you make a conscious decision to do right, like Ovaja, then you can do right. On the other hand, you can have the best influences in the world, and yet if you make a conscious decision to do the opposite of right, that's what ultimately is going to happen. I believe in the last few weeks, we've seen both of these unfortunate and fortunate kinds of phenomenons happening in front of our eyes. On the one hand, you see the most vicious of our enemies not just killing people, but raping women, beheading children, and worse and worse and worse. And even when they're taken captive, they continue to go ahead and be vicious to them as we've seen and as we've read and as we saw in the last few days. And at the same time, you have an army called the IDF. The IDF that refuses to go out and to fight. If God forbid, there's a clear chance that they'll be killing civilians. It's inevitable in war that that will happen, and yet comes along the IDF and makes a conscious decision, we will fight, but try to restrict it to our enemies. At the end of the day, this Haftorah challenges us. It's up to us. Are we going to make a conscious decision to do what's right, or are we going to make a conscious decision to do what's wrong? It's up to us.